Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel and today I'm coming back with an exciting ass video. So a couple of days ago, I recorded a video called what's happening in the next eight hours, right? But then I decided not to post it because I decided not to post it because what I had on in the video, it was a little bit too, like, <laughs> it was a little bit too revealing and it made the video just look crazy. So I just did not want to uh, post that video. But I've been using that video for myself, like every day or whenever I think about it, I'll just choose a different pile. And when I say it was so accurate with what happened in my next eight hours after watching that video, it was crazy so i'm so excited to be bringing this video to y'all i've never seen anything done like this before and i think it'll be just so fun because eight hours is such a short period of time and i know that every single thing that i say may not manifest but for me a lot of what i said manifests in every single pile and i was just like i'm so excited to bring this to y'all and I may even edit it and post it tonight um, just so y'all can have it for the weekend because this this video, I'm just so excited to do it, y'all, and just to see y'all comments and see how it worked for everybody else. But yeah, let's get started, y'all. What's happening in the next eight hours? Hey, Power One, welcome to your reading. Today... We are going to be seeing what's happening in your next eight hours. I braided my hair, y'all. Took me nine hours. I stayed up all night. Took me nine hours. And I had personal readings to do. Baby, I have been, I have been working, okay? I'm, I'm going to post a picture and show y'all my hair. It is so cute. But anyway, so for your tarot card, we have the Five of Swords. What's happening in your next eight hours? We got find a F, get the money you need through my work. We got ghetto. We got no. We got your vibration is high right now. And we got the tree picture, the tree and the flower picture. And for your eerie card, we have someone you had sex with had a STD and you did not get it. Okay, so within the next eight hours, you could be setting a boundary with somebody. Within the next eight hours, you may have to tell somebody no to protect your peace within the next eight hours. And that you, you're going to be like setting a boundary with somebody in the next eight hours. And it's going to raise your vibration. It's going to it's gonna it's gonna make you it's gonna give you peace of mind it's like somebody within the next eight hours you could be dealing with somebody that's annoying or somebody that's just every time they come around they just get on your damn nerves or they make you mad and you're going to be like not letting this person get to you within the next eight hours and you're gonna be you know having that peace of mind you you're not going to be letting nobody disturb your peace or ruin your peace. Even with these trees and these flowers here, like over the next eight hours, your mind is going to be like at peace. It's like nothing within the next eight hours, there's going to be nothing that can touch you, like nothing negative. Like I'm hearing from spirit that the things that will usually like piss you off or the things that will usually make you lose your temper. It's not going to even be bothering you within the next eight hours. Maybe it's because you could be, you could be quite literally doing, I don't know, you could be doing something that calms your nerves, like maybe taking a, um, a herb, maybe like ashwagandha or CBD, or maybe even smoking a little tree, because we do have the trees here. You're just going to be unbothered. That's the word. You're going to be unbothered. Like, unbothered. Yeah. Like, your mind. Look, we got. Look at this. We got the no card. And we got just say no. Wow. You're going to be telling somebody no. Like, 
You're going to be like, no, you're not disturbing my peace today. Today is my day. I'm going to chill. I'm going to smoke or I'm going to chill. I'm going to eat this CBD gummy and I'm going to relax. Like you're going to be relaxed within the next eight hours. You're going to be relaxed. I'm getting, <laughs> I'm getting somebody. Some of y'all could be my smokers. Like some of y'all are going to be smoking and like just looking at the trees and just like just chill gonna be chill and we got this fine as fuck and it's just uh my spirit team is saying like fine you're gonna be fine like everything is fine and the reason why you're gonna be so chill within the next eight hours is because of your mind your mind is gonna be settled in some type of way whether it's settled because you um are using an herb or whether it's settled because you're just deciding to have like a peace of mind you're not letting nobody disturb your peace we got google we got fine as fuck and you are fine double meanings so <clears throat> you are gonna be just fine and at peace within the next eight hours but also you could be looking fine, like looking good as hell. Somebody can compliment you in the next eight hours and tell you that you are fine. Or somebody can comment on um uh, one of your pictures in the next eight hours on the internet and tell you that you are fine. Like give you a compliment. Do a return to center. See, within the next eight hours, pile one, y'all ain't going to be with the bullshit. Y'all is not going to be with the bullshit within the next eight hours. Y'all are going to be like, look, I don't want to hear about nobody's problems. I don't want to look at naked, nothing negative on the internet. Like, I don't want to do nothing that's going to disturb my peace. What did I just pull? Internet. We got internet and we got Google. Wow. So, another thing I'm getting is you can be getting a piece of information that's going to make. Oh, <clears throat> there we go their <clears throat> confirmation like let me see so <clears throat> you could be getting a, a a piece of information within the next eight hours that's going to put your mind at ease maybe you're going to google something you're going to find something on the internet or somebody going to send you <clears throat> a text message oh you you're going to get some type of um answer or results because you has we have this you had sex with somebody with a daily std and didn't get it so you're gonna have this like sense of relief it's like you're gonna get a piece of information within the next eight hours that's gonna put your mind so at ease can't no it's gonna be unshakable it's gonna be unshakable like okay nobody fuck with my like you know what i'm saying like imagine somebody called you and said you want a million dollars and you know you want it for sure it wouldn't be nothing anybody could do for the rest of their day to fuck up your day <laughs> like this is the type this is how it's gonna be like you're gonna get a form you're gonna get some information that's gonna have you like Shh, i don't care what y'all talking about you know i just got this piece of information i'm good like it ain't nothing that can fuck up my day for the rest of the for the rest of the day i am good okay read a book fantasy and i just got that yeah 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 give it to me now give it to me. you know that um that ludicrous song i wanna lick 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 you from your head to your toe that i wanna move from the bed down to the down to the to the floor i'm feeling like because we got this fine as fuck and then we got this um you are fine Somebody going to be fantasizing about you. And then again, we got this internet too. So somebody um could be reaching out to you that always be fantasizing about you. Like they be fantasizing or they think you're fine. So some people in this pile is going to be getting some type of like communication from somebody that be fantasizing about them and think that they are fine. And then we have SSI here. So sometimes, um, sometimes. Some of y'all could be um, getting a piece of information about um, some help that y'all could be getting, some type of unearned income 
or y'all could be finding out that somebody's giving y'all something or something there's gonna be something that's been gonna be putting your mind at ease for the next eight hours slow down yes and with these swords i'm thinking about anxiety there's there's like i said there's gonna be something that's going to slow um to where you can be able to slow down you don't have to have racing thoughts all day like what am i gonna do what is this what is that what is that there's gonna be a within the next eight hours there's gonna be a major question that is gonna be answered for you and it's gonna be the correct answer like you're gonna be like oh yeah twerk music this could even be making you happy and carefree within the next eight hours power one you're gonna be happy and carefree within the next eight hours so i'm really 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 liking this energy like i'm really liking this energy like to be carefree to be just chilling you ain't got no worries like you're at peace we got uncle so I'm getting, because when I thought of uncle, I automatically thought about a scene where I was sitting on the porch with my uncle. So you could be just like literally just chilling, just chilling because you got this piece of information that reassured you. Like I said earlier, this is kind of like the equivalent of like, if somebody called you and said they had a million dollars to give you and you was for sure that it wasn't a scam or anything, like somebody was for real about to give you a million dollars, it would not be anything or anybody that can fuck up your mood that day. I don't care if somebody came up to you and slapped the shit out of you. You wouldn't even be worried about it because you're like, look, I want a million dollars today. I don't give a shit. So that's going to be the type vibe for your next eight hours. So power one, let me know how this resonated. Come back in eight hours and let me know if any little bit of thing came to pass out of this reading. I'm so excited for y'all because ain't nothing, ain't nothing like a peace of mind. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. And today I'm coming back with an exciting ass video. So... A couple of days ago, I recorded a video called What's Happening in the Next Eight Hours, right? But then I decided not to post it because I decided not to post it because what I had on in the video, it was a little bit too, like, <laughs> it was a little bit too revealing and it made the video just look crazy. So I just did not want to uh, post that video. But I've been using that video for myself, like, every day. Or whenever I think about it, I'll just choose a different pile. And when I say it was so accurate with what happened in my next eight hours after watching that video, it was crazy. So I'm so excited to be bringing this video to y'all. I've never seen anything done like this before. And I think it'll be just so fun because eight hours is such a short period of time. And I know that every single thing that i say may not manifest but for me a lot of what i said manifest in every single pile and i was just like i'm so excited to bring this to y'all and i may even edit it and post it tonight um just so y'all can have it for the weekend because this this video i'm just so excited to do it y'all and just to see y'all comments and see how it worked for everybody else but yeah let's get started y'all what's happening in the next eight hours hey pal two welcome to your reading and today we're gonna be seeing what's happening for you in your next eight hours i'm so excited so for your tarot card we got temperance and we got crocs we got dreadlocks we got slow change. We got boo thing. We got don't worry, you got this. And we got the star. And for your eerie card, we got someone died in your house. Okay. So the first thing I'm seeing is within the next eight hours, you could be seeing a, you could be seeing twins. You could be seeing twins together. You could be watching their YouTube that um youtube twins called is twins 
because when I heard about Crocs and Locks, I thought about their little accent. So you could be you could be seeing um it's twins um YouTube channel. Um you could be seeing some twins, like some some black twins, like some twins that are like African American. Um you could be uh you could be put on a spotlight with the star card. You could be put on a spotlight within the next eight hours in some type of way, shape, or form. Um, let's see. With this dreadlocks and this crocs, I'm also feeling like there's going to be somebody that within the next eight hours that maybe betrayed you, did you wrong, or you just don't even like them like that because you feel like they're not a good person. You're going to see like the beginning of or maybe even just flat out within the next eight hours. You're going to see them try to like change in a way like maybe they're trying to like become better or, or start to treat you better or start to. Um, that basically with the next eight hours, you're going to see that they are starting to realize your worth and starting to realize who you actually are. And they see you as like an angel and they see you as somebody that should have never been treated the way that they themselves treated you. So within the next eight hours, you can see somebody kind of trying to, trying to backpedal on the way that they used to treat you in a way. And, um, yeah, this could have been like an old flame or somebody that you used to knew back in the day or something like that. Or or you can, um within the next eight hours, somebody that you know don't like you could be trying to give you words of encouragement or give you a compliment within the next eight hours. Boosty. Fear of successes. Yes, it's it's oh my god. Ugh. <laughs> y'all power too. Y'all gotta let me know what what happened in the comments. Because I'm getting within the next eight hours, somebody that's like busted, dusted, and disgusted is gonna be trying to get back up in your energy. And like your energy is so pure now, you own to bigger and better things, and like somebody that didn't treat you the best or somebody even if they didn't treat you the best somebody that's like basically a piece of crap is gonna try to come around and get in your energy a little bit it's giving ugh, it's giving like white lips it's like your lips is white your breath stank and you never knew how to treat me so why are you trying to come back around like no get away <laughs> get away <laughs> so within the next eight hours somebody's gonna be trying to get back in your energy and if somebody's not trying to get back in your energy you're gonna have an old hater that's gonna pop up maybe up under one of your uh social media posts or text you or maybe they'll even see you in person and they're gonna try to like compliment you but you know they don't like you so you gonna you gonna have somebody that you know don't like you come and try to compliment you. We got new car, so oh, and we got thickums. So within the next eight hours, there are gonna be people from the past that see your glow, that see that you're shining. They see they see that you're doing better in some type of a way. Whether you got a new car or something material. Or whether you just looking real good, gonna come back around and try to compliment you and you know and and give you words of encouragement or some shit. And and I'm hearing you gonna be like, no. <laughs> like, what is you trying to come back around me for? It's like you the star, and like everybody is finally now seeing the light. And within the next eight hours, there's there's gonna be proof of that. Like there's gonna be somebody that you let go of or somebody that you know ain't good for you gonna be coming back around trying to like be up in your energy and i and i'm feeling like they're gonna compliment you or try to get back in your energy to see if it will work to see if you would go for it this time and i'm getting you're not 
because this someone died in your house is really reminding me of of um ghosts from 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 the past like people from the past that want to come back get your hair done so yes i just did my hair y'all it took me nine hours and it's so cute i'm gonna post some pictures on youtube but with this get your hair done it's just reminding me of that um somebody they can see you like with a new hairstyle or a new look and they could be trying to like compliment you on it. And I'm hearing that you ain't going to be going for it. Because you know these people don't really like you like that. Like why are you trying to compliment me? Why are you trying to get back in my energy? Like I know I'm cute. And then we have Sunday. Egypt's. Ooh, that goddess energy. That goddess energy is shining. Within the next eight hours, people are going to be seeing you like a freaking goddess and you're gonna know this because you probably like how the hell would i know what other people are thinking in the next eight hours you're gonna know this because people are gonna be treating you differently i'm hearing i just heard in my head fall to you fall to their knees i forgot what song that was it's like when i walk past they fall to their knees or am i thinking about maya angelo i don't remember but yeah like people are gonna be quote unquote falling to their knees when you walk and i'm looking at this temperance um with this temperance what she has on like a robe it kind of looks like egyptian in a way like you you're gonna be giving off that goddess energy and when you walk by like they fall to their knees like maya angelo a swarm of honey bees it's gonna be just like this era that you have that makes people just want to like um almost worship you even if you didn't go anywhere even if it's just online people are still going to be like you know that falling to their knees and worshiping so there's going to be like an energy that you give off like i'm hearing energy signature you have a new energy signature and this is what i'm getting with this new car too is you could be taking you could be taking your new vibration for a ride. Like you could be taking your new um, energy for a ride. You could have like recently upgraded spiritually and you're like taking it for a ride now. Or maybe you posted a picture or you went somewhere and people are not used to this energy on you. So they're like, wow, wow, how to and this is why these haters and old people are probably like coming back up out the bushes because they see this new energy on you and they want to get back around it clean your home pregnant you know what this is reminding me of this is reminding me of like a pregnancy announcement so within the next eight hours, you could be quite literally seeing somebody announce their pregnancy or you could be announcing your own pregnancy because, you know, when you're pregnant, you automatically give off that goddess energy. So you could be announcing your own pregnancy or somebody in your life could be announcing their pregnancy or or people are just going to be seeing you as very abundant, abundant. okay it's gonna be fine you have two of the same cards it's going to be fine don't worry and don't worry you got this so spirit is definitely one to come through and tell you within the next eight hours if something comes up that triggers you spirit is coming through and saying don't worry about this like you got it don't let it make you spiral out of control don't let it you you got this you got this you, this is something that you don't even need to worry about yes okay we have because i just asked my guys what this don't worry was about we have cut them off and don't feel guilty so when you had these people coming back from the past trying to because maybe maybe some of these people are going to invite you that's another thing that might happen in the next eight hours if somebody 
old from the past might invite you somewhere and you might feel a little guilty for telling them no or then um turning down their invitation or um not wanting them to come over or, or avoiding them or whatever like that but protect your peace protect your energy you got this newfound energy um to you and these old people don't want to do anything but come and just suck it all out of you and come and just like just be blood suckers and vampires don't do don't you don't have to feel guilty for protecting what you worked so hard for so in the next eight hours this don't worry is gonna be fine it's quite literally if you have a problem come up in the next eight hours don't worry it's gonna be fine everything gonna work itself out and the more that you know everything gonna work itself out it will and with this sunday i'm hearing that whatever problem pops up within the next eight hours it'll be handled by sunday by sunday morning oh my spirit team just just screamed in my ear by sunday morning it'll be handled so yeah pile two let me know how this resonates. I'm so excited with y'all. Come back in the comments eight hours later and let me know if anything came to pass. And I will see y'all in the next one. Bye. Hey, y'all. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm coming back with an exciting ass video. So a couple of days ago, I recorded a video called what's happening in the next eight hours, right? But then I decided not to post it because I decided not to post it because what I had on in the video, it was a little bit too, like, <laughs> it was a little bit too revealing and it made the video just look crazy. So I just did not want to uh, post that video. But I've been using that video for myself, like every day or whenever I think about it, I'll just choose a different pile. And when I say it was so accurate with what happened in my next eight hours after watching that video it was crazy so i'm so excited to be bringing this video to y'all i've never seen anything done like this before and i think it'll be just so fun because eight hours is such a short period of time and i know that every single thing that i say may not manifest but for me a lot of what i said manifests in every single pile and I was just like, I'm so excited to bring this to y'all. And I may even edit it and post it tonight. Um, just so y'all can have it for the weekend. Because this this video, I'm just so excited to do it, y'all. And just to see y'all comments and see how it worked for everybody else. But yeah, let's get started, y'all. What's happening in the next eight hours? Hey, Pile 3, welcome to your reading. And today we are going to be seeing what's happening in your next eight hours. I'm so, so, so geeked for this damn video. I'm so excited. For your um, tarot card, we got the Two of Pentacles. And then we have Rest Now. We have Makeup Change. We have It Ain't That Deep. We got pause. We got they tried to dim your light, but they didn't. And we got the balloons. And we got a building will be named after you. Okay, so <clears throat> within the next eight hours, you could be taking a deep rest from something that you've been at for a long time and with these party balloons i'm thinking maybe you could have been planning something some of y'all could have been planning a party planning a celebration or planning something but within the next eight hours you're going to be taking a rest some of y'all if y'all watching this at night time then it can quite literally be like within the next eight hours you're going to be asleep <laughs> um and possibly i'm getting for this pile too some of y'all within the next eight hours are going to be going to sleep and when you go to sleep, you're going to be dreaming about balloons. There's going to be like balloons in your dream. Um, and also, some of y'all might go to sleep and see yourselves in your dream. Because you know how in our dreams, we never see ourselves. But um, one of y'all that's going to watch this video or some of y'all that's going to watch this video, y'all are going to go to sleep and have a dream where y'all looked in the mirror and saw yourselves, but y'all looks different. Um 
and spirit is saying this is not that deep and also some of y'all are going to go to sleep and have a some of y'all are going to go to sleep and have a dream that's going to be like really scary or you think it's really spiritual but in reality it ain't that deep it was just like a subconscious some subconscious things that were coming up so within the next eight hours if you go to sleep and have like this weird dream and you wake up feeling like it meant something bad it didn't spirit saying it didn't it, it it's just that was just some little some stuff that was just lingering around in your in your brain um also but um in the next eight hours some of y'all are going to be um some of y'all are going to be taking a pause taking a break from something that y'all have been at for a long 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 time <laughs> is what i'm getting pole dance bmw bmw entrepreneur boss when i pulled out the bmw i was like bmw boss entrepreneur <laughs> so within the next eight hours some of y'all are gonna be bragging low-key like it's so it's good like that's what we work for if we work for something and we and we accomplish something why can't we brag shit we could be proud of ourselves so within the next eight hours some of y'all are going to be bragging on y'all selves and i'm here for it like somebody gonna ask y'all about something and y'all gonna be like oh yeah yeah i got a bmw yeah i got my own business i'm an entrepreneur you know <laughs> so you could be bragging on yourself within the next eight hours period i'm here for it we got journal book divination so within the next eight hours um some of y'all could also be doing a journal entry um about the things that you love about yourself um within the next eight hours or within the next eight hours some of y'all could be doing some type of self-love ritual or um or just showing yourself some love y'all gonna be showing yourself some love in one way shape or form or some of y'all are gonna be reading a book that makes y'all um that kind of raises your confidence and makes you love yourself more and makes you take yourself more seriously. So some of y'all could be reading a, a Robert Greene book or something like that, and y'all come y'all confidence can be like shooting through the roof. Cause sometimes when you read a Robert Greene book, you you start to just feel even more confident just reading it because it's like you know you have more tools to to get you know through in the world and you just are more educated on like people and psychology and it just makes you feel more confident and make you feel like you have a leg up oh that's another thing within the next eight hours some of y'all are going to be feeling like y'all have a leg up like y'all y'all have a leg up in something like y'all are skilled in something like y'all gotta let y'all got a foundation to stand on Y'all gonna be feeling like confident, like I got a foundation to stand on, like I did this shit. Like, um, us who own like businesses and stuff like that, it's like a lot of the times when you are an entrepreneur, a business owner, a content creator, whatever you're doing that's not going to work every day, it's a roller coaster because sometimes you feel a lot of the times you feel like, man, I'm not doing enough. My business is not growing enough. I'm not making enough sales. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing that. A lot of the times you 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 feel like like you're not doing enough. Like your business isn't growing. Like you're looking at all the wrong things about it. But every once in a while, you get that snap back. You get that confidence. Like, man, I built this. You know, if you're a content creator, you're like, I built this. I don't care if you only have... 50 subscribers you built that you built those 50 subscribers you built that business you even if you just got five sales you you attracted those five sales you sold to five different people do you know most people could never you know most people could never most people could never build their own audiences most people could never build their own businesses most people could never make a product with their own two hands and then go out and get somebody else to buy it like do you know how much skill how much confidence how much courage that takes 
that that is gonna be something that y'all are gonna be realizing within the next eight hours it's like y'all gonna get this boost of confidence about yourself like like y'all have a foundation to stand on like yeah i did this i did that it doesn't matter how big or how small that's what i was seeing when i first started the reading it's like y'all are gonna be bragging on yourselves like yeah i did this i did that it's like um Y'all could have been working really, really hard at something. And then within the next eight hours, y'all are gonna be taking a rest. But y'all are gonna y'all y'all are gonna be bragging on y'all self though. Like, yeah, I did this. I did it. <laughs> ASMR. Some of y'all within the next eight hours could quite literally be listening to AM ASMR. We got City Girl shit. Wear your crystals yes i say yes we can be together yes you can stay with me but when i say no not tonight you acting so ungratefully i don't know if y'all remember this song by uh destiny's child no it was by beyonce it was by beyonce it's called yes that's one of my favorite songs so you could be oh that's why i channeled that song because you could have been saying yes to everything for a long time because beyonce was like i said yes we can be together yes you can stay with me but when i say no not tonight you acting so ungratefully so within the next eight hours some of y'all could be finally saying hell to the no i'm resting i'm not doing this or y'all could be literally just taking a day off or Y'all doing, y'all putting a pause to something and um, Spirit is saying maybe some, within the next eight hours, somebody can be offended because you said no or because you're taking a rest or a break. And I mean, hey, just let them be offended, baby. Who cares? It's, you need a break. Small car. Law of Assumption. Oh, you know what? Within the next eight hours, because we do have journal here, y'all could be manifesting within the next eight hours. So maybe some of y'all are not bragging on y'all selves, but y'all are saying y'all's affirmations. Because remember I said some of y'all could be doing beauty rituals too, self-love rituals. So within the next eight hours, some of y'all could be doing um law of assumption, um affirmations and stuff. So some of y'all, it's not that y'all bragging to other people, but y'all bragging to y'all selves so that y'all can bring something into um, manifestation. So y'all could be going around saying y'all um, affirmations and, and doing y'all self-love work and y'all could be journaling and, and doing the scripting method, the 369 method and stuff like that. Sun. Oh, sun and fire. Yeah, within the next eight hours, y'all could be, um, some of y'all could be doing candle work, candle magic. Some of y'all could be out in the sun, um, manifesting out in the park, touching the grass, touching the trees. And whatever, if, if any one of y'all have like any minor issue that comes up within the next eight hours, Y'all are going to be using um, law of assumption and manifestation to get through it. And y'all are going to be saying, like, it ain't that deep. Like, it ain't, you know how they say um, your your, your um, circumstances doesn't matter. Y'all are going to be really in that energy within the next eight hours. Like, circumstances doesn't matter. Circumstances doesn't matter. you are gorgeous what did i say within the next eight hours some of y'all are going to be doing self-love work period so pile three let me know how this resonated for y'all i'm excited to see y'all comments and i will see y'all in the next one bye hey y'all welcome back to my channel and today i'm coming back with an exciting ass video so a couple of days ago, I recorded a video called What's Happening in the Next Eight Hours, right? But then I decided not to post it because I decided not to post it because what I had on in the video, it was a little bit too, like, <laughs> it was a little bit too revealing and it made the video just look crazy. So I just did not want to uh, post that video. 
but I've been using that video for myself like every day or whenever I think about it I'll just choose a different pile and when I say it was so accurate with what happened in my next eight hours after watching that video it was crazy so I'm so excited to be bringing this video to y'all I've never seen anything done like this before and I think it'll be just so fun because eight hours is such a short period of time and I know that every single thing that I say may not manifest but for me a lot of what I said manifests in every single pile and I was just like I'm so excited to bring this to y'all and I may even edit it and post it tonight um just so y'all can have it for the weekend because this this video i'm just so excited to do it y'all and just to see y'all comments and see how it worked for everybody else but yeah let's get started y'all what's happening in the next eight hours hey pop four welcome to your reading and today we are going to be finding out what's happening in your next eight hours so for your tarot card, we have justice, period. And then we have your guys say hi, autoimmune disease, a ticket, and mid one. That person was an angel, ooh, apartment, and you need a doctor visit. And then we have everyone in your school of work or stand-ins. Okay. Wow. Within the next eight hours, you... I know this isn't going to be for everyone, but within the next eight hours, some of y'all could be experiencing a miracle. Some of y'all could be experiencing what feels like a miracle um okay so I, i'm just gonna very quickly tell the story as an example but um when i was in high school i had a um somebody come and speak with me basically to make a long story short they knew things about me that nobody else would ever know about me and um and i would write to god in my journal every single night um like i would i would pray instead of praying to god every night i would write it out in my journal because i used to love to write and the only person that knew i that ever knew i did that was me i didn't tell my mama my mama didn't know about my my journal that i wrote to god my best friend didn't know literally nobody knew but me and god there was no way anybody would ever know about that and he even brought that up and he was like god hears you when you write your prayers in your journal every night while you listening to your music like nobody nobody in life would have ever known i did that and that is what sealed the deal for me and he told me a bunch of things you know gave me a bunch of advice and stuff like that but at the end of the conversation i asked him i said um i said who are you <laughs> like and he was like god sent he was like i'm a guardian angel god sent me here just for you so my spirit team was making me remember that story because there's going to be somebody within the next eight hours that you come across that's going to feel like an angel because they're going to come to either deliver you a message and we have this um ticket so they're going to come to like help bring in a miracle for you you're going to experience one of those like somebody in this pile or multiple people in this pile is going to experience something that feels like a miracle or they're going to feel like they met an angel or something that you hear somebody say within the next eight hours is going to feel like it was it was meant just for you like god sent somebody just for you and everybody else around you is gonna it's it's gonna be like every it's going to be like everybody else around you is going to feel irrelevant in that moment because it's going to feel like you're talking to just you and God.
And also within the next eight hours, some of y'all could be feeling um, some type of symptom or some type of, um, I'm getting some of y'all within the next eight hours will be having a hospital visit or a doctor's visit. And um, some of y'all could be um, starting to experience within the next eight hours some old symptoms that y'all used to experience and y'all gonna be going to the doctor and, and I'm trying to figure that out and see what's going on with that. Um, but there's within heavy, heavy, heavy in this pile within the next eight hours, you're gonna be getting some type of karmic justice. Not not actual justice. Some of y'all could be getting actual justice like through the law system within the next eight hours. But I'm getting within the next eight hours, some of y'all are gonna be getting karmic justice. Like you you deserve this. This is your karma. And and this is this is your good karma. Like this is what's been coming. This is why you, you went through all of that pain and now you get to experience a miracle. Now you get to experience somebody. I'm hearing somebody good. So this could be a person for some of y'all. And some of y'all, this is just something that happens. And with this, everyone at school or work is standing. This is just letting me know that this experience is going to let you know that past hurts and past people in your life were just lessons. They were just here to make you a better person and teach you something. Like you don't need to hold on to them. You don't need to feel a way about them they just was there to teach you a lesson and now you can experience somebody way better and i'm hearing this ticket in mid one is also reminding me of first date so some of y'all could be going on y'all first date with somebody within the next eight hours or um somebody could be asking you out on a first date within the next eight hours and it could be something very wholesome, like a very wholesome first date. Like maybe y'all go to the movies or y'all go like to the bowling alley or um, to the arcade. It's going to be like a very wholesome first date. Some of y'all could be moving. Y'all could be getting a new apartment or doing something redecorating with y'all apartment. Or some of y'all within the next eight hours are going to be listening to gospel music or listening to frequency music. Some type of spiritual music while you're cleaning your apartment. And then we have trick we have trick music. So I mean, hey, either or you could be listening to trick music too while you while you're cleaning up your apartment. Help yourself. Me versus me. You need some eggplant and tacos. So within the next um eight hours. Some of y'all are definitely going on a date or being asked out on a date. It's going to be something with the opposite sex or the same sex if that's what you're into. It's going to be something with like a romantic um, situation within the next eight hours. It could be the start of a romantic situation or somebody just finally asking you out on a date. And with this help yourself and me versus me. You're going to be liberated. Some of y'all are going to be liberated in some type of way within the next eight hours. Get a bag. Get the bag. You deserve it. Yeah. Within the next eight hours, the universe, your spirit team, God, they're going to be they're going to be giving you something that you deserve. Are you going to be feeling like you're getting what you deserve. You're getting your just do. I say that all the time. You're getting your just do. You have the actual justice card. Your spiritual gifts are working. What did I tell you? You're you're spiritually being rewarded. And you could have been experiencing um my power force could have been experiencing a whole bunch of synchronicities lately. Like you could have been knowing something good was about to happen. But it just wasn't really happening. Or you could have been watching a bunch of tarot readings and they and they were telling you that these great things were gonna happen, but then they never did come to pass, and you'll be and you're wondering why. Within the next eight hours, you're gonna be finding out why, and you're going to be um finally seeing the evidence of what you already been feeling. Cause I'm feeling like you already been knowing something was up, but within the next eight hours, you're gonna see. 
and you're gonna know that your spiritual gifts have been working this whole time and yeah like for some of y'all y'all in the next eight hours y'all are gonna be seeing proof of y'all spiritual gifts earth make a portal okay <laughs> Dude, should I say okay so um today when I because I channel a lot when I'm like taking naps or if I'm like going to sleep or waking up like I hear very 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 uh, like clearly like just like if I'm talking to you or me right so um I was I was waking up and I Every time I'm waking up, I always take advantage of that time and make sure I pay attention to what, like, Spirit is trying to tell me. And, and so I wake it up and I see these two tall, white, alien-looking figures and they standing at my front door. Like, I'm seeing this, like, clairvoyantly. And I'm like, uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, um... You could be within the next eight hours either seeing, um, you could be either seeing something clairvoyantly or you could be, um, hearing something clairaudiently or you could, um, be experiencing something. You could be experiencing something paranormal. Um, that's what reminded me with this earth because it reminded me of like ET, like it reminded me of like, um, something that's not from earth that landed on earth so if if this if it's not this then maybe within the next eight hours somebody could be just watching something about aliens watching a video video about aliens or maybe you just saw a picture of aliens some about aliens but um you're gonna be experiencing something like supernatural or something like out of this world within the next eight hours let me get you a few more. Treat yourself, bitch. Yes. The universe going to be treating you within the next eight hours in some type of way. Diamonds. This reminds me of the um of alchemy. Like you've been through all the steps. Like you're transformed. You're 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 good. And then we have dark energy around you. Oh, this reminds me of within the next eight hours. <laughs> You could be, you could be experiencing something paranormal and it could possibly like frighten you a little bit or you could think it's something dark with spirit saying it's not, it's actually, it's not anything dark trying to contact you. It's, um, your spirit team or part, part of your spirit team are like, you know, love and light. It's all love and light. It's not like anything dark trying to contact you. And bam, 222, two, two, this is for you. This is always my confirmation card to let you know that, yes, this is for you. So, like, yeah, if you go through any type of paranormal situation, don't worry about it. Um, Don't worry about it. Your guys say hi. Your guys are in the building right now. Like, it's not anything dark or scary or anything like that. And it's within the next eight hours, too, this could be some of y'all's beginning to developing a new psychic ability and i'm hearing mediumship so yeah a lot more came through in this reading than the first one i filmed so yeah we shall see let me know in the comments eight hours later if anything came to pass y'all and i will see y'all in the next one bye